Hello, and welcome to Forgotten Tech. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at two examples of bad capacitors. As some of my subscribers may have noticed, it's been a little while since I last uploaded a video. Unfortunately, part of the reason for this is bad capacitors. The computer I'm working on for the next video uses these socket 775 Intel motherboards. And unfortunately, both of them have bad capacitors. So while I'm sourcing parts for the computer, I thought, why not make a video about bad capacitors? As you can see on this first motherboard, the failure is very obvious. The largest capacitor on the motherboard has a bulging top with electrolyte leaking out. However, if you didn't know this and this board was installed inside of your computer, you may not notice. Despite how serious this failure looks, this motherboard is still able to boot up normally. However, this failure would likely not go unnoticed, as it could result in blue screens, crashes, the computer locking up, or even a system failure doing just one specific task. Now on this motherboard, the failure is not very obvious unless you look very, very closely. The capacitor has only a minor bulge, and the only real sign of failure is where the electrolyte has leaked onto the motherboard. Now as you're about to see, this is a more extreme failure as the computer will no longer boot. On the very rare occasion that it does start, it will, it will appear to boot normally, and then the screen will slowly become garbled until it looks like a staticky old TV. I was hoping I could show that today, but it doesn't appear to be cooperating. And there you have it. Two very different capacitor failures with very different results. Now, of course, this is just two examples. There are many different ways in which a failure can manifest itself, both physically and while operating the machine. As for the computer these belong to, obviously an e-machine, I do have it up and running. I just need to source a hard drive and maybe one or two other parts. And then it will be ready to record a YouTube video and put up for sale. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. It should be up sometime next month. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. And as always, if you enjoyed watching this, please be sure to share and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Forgotten Tech.